this is Jenny from Jenny's Plumerias. I'm on the central west coast of Florida, zone 9B. This is September 26th, and uh, it's during the end of the plumeria season, and I have a crowded area on one side of my uh, property, so I'm trying to transplant all of those overgrown plumerias to this side of the property. So you can see I have a lot of Mexican petunias uh, to dig out. I've already transplanted three a week ago. Uh, they're doing great, so I'm going to transplant at least one more today. I want to show you um, not to worry this time of year. They'll droop a little bit, but they're going to come back by tomorrow morning. They'll be fine. All right, so I'm in, anyway, I'll, I'll speed this up because uh, I'm going to dig all this out and uh, bring one over from the other side of the property and put it in. Okay. Okay, I've dug out the area that I need, and now I need to choose something from this side. As you can see, it's very crowded. Yeah, I just really need to thin this out and move things around. So I've um, chose a Kalina here uh, that I'm going to dig out and move over there and I'm trying to do um, a, a red and white, a pink, a white, and then this one is going to be a rainbow color. So I'm not um, growing all the same color in the same area. So yeah, I'm going to dig this out and move this over. So I've got it where I want it. I have enough space between um, the last one. I would say I have about six foot between the last one that I planted. I've lined it up with the one uh, you know, in a row here. And so I'm just gonna get the dirt packed down in here. And I try to not wear two gloves because then I get everything really dirty with my gloves. and I'm going to give it a good water and that'll hydrate it and tomorrow it'll be perfect. It's leaning a bit. I want that. I like my plumerias as straight as possible to grow into a tree. All right. Well, maybe I should cut this back so you, you can see. Now I'm going to give it a good water. I'm going to drench it. And also, so you know, it's um, going to be 89 today, <laughs> September the 26th, and it's here in Florida. Humidity is really high. I'm really sweaty right now. <laughs> Sorry to say that. But, uh, yeah, we have a longer growing season than most, so I don't have to worry about this 
or any of them that I've transplanted. And I ran, ran into a little bit of a issue digging that area out. Uh, I kept hitting rocks. I couldn't figure out why. And um, I found a drainage grate down there. We have a creek at the back of the property, so I didn't realize that there was a drainage grate right there that drains down to the, the creek. So anyway, here are the other ones. Um, there are three that I did last week, and they're doing fabulous. But I have uh, my Mar um, Mary Susan there, uh, my Haley there, and this is a um, white, just a plain white. And so I wanted to put a Colina here, which is like a rainbow, so they're all different colors. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you. Hi, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, my point of the video was really to um, help you not be afraid to transplant your plumerias, especially when uh, once you transplant them and you see them drooping and it's really scary, you think you've killed it, but you really haven't. It's just going through a bit of a shock and you can bring it back out with lots of water. So once you transplant it, um, get it in the ground, cut off all of the big leaves the, uh, the big leaves will drag um, the tips down and you don't want that to happen. You want them to recover uh, quickly. So you want to cut off all those big leaves. I keep on uh, the smaller leaves at the tips. Uh, I, I think that um, that's fine and it, it doesn't seem to bother it. And uh, give it a good water. And I, I promise you that within 24 hours, the tips will be nice and hard and it will be right back to its old self, okay? All right, and I just want to uh, remind you, please uh, lift other, others up in Christ. Uh, be kind to one another and you, all right? I appreciate you for watching my videos. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Bye.